Hello and welcome back everybody. In this video we will continue um, tracing the unit, uh, this uh, eight-pointed star, in order to, you know, fill this grid and actually come come up with the result um, at the end of this uh, simple fourfold pattern. So, um, let's see how we can take this forward. So, um, yeah, uh, what I'll do is, you know, you could, you could, you could always either, you know, choose to go this way, yeah, or uh, the other way, that's fine, uh, that's okay. Um, what I would do is, I'll actually try to line up, as a reminder, we are trying to line up the lines against, you know, the grid lines, just to make sure that we've got a perfect, you know, um, line up here uh, for our um, tracing. And this is probably, I think, a good way. So, yeah, this is good. So once we do that, you make sure you stabilize it with your hand. With your other hand, you make sure that there are no air bubbles beneath your tracing paper. You place your tape to hold it in place and you make sure that it stays in place so that you know you don't get errors when you're uh, tracing and here's another piece of tape uh, maybe i'll also use one here so uh, here we go now with our straight edge what i'll do is i'll actually take this line just you know to just very lightly um, to get this reference for us. Yeah, and this will help us in lining up. You know, you always need to gauge yourself. You know, you need to make sure that you actually are, maybe this needs, yeah, that's it. So, so that you make sure that, you know, the pattern actually stacks up and um, joins together nicely. Otherwise, again, if you have small errors here and there, these errors, they build up and at the end, you don't get a result that is pleasing to the eye. So the first thing I need to do is I'll, I'll, I'll probably, you know, develop a system here. And the more you do this, uh, the more you used, you, you know, you, the more you get used to it, or used to doing it and picking up these uh, little clues. So over here, I've got, you know, these two segments on a straight line, these two on a straight line, these two on a straight line, these two. And then I've got these four actually on a straight line. So what I'll do is I'll start with these four. So I'll just make sure my straight edge is fixed, it's stable, it's secure. And then I'll start going over these two lines and then tracing these two lines and I'll do the same for the four on the bottom so I'll just make sure that this is in line this is secure I'll go over these two I will trace these two so now that I've done these, what I'll do is I'll probably go over uh, the vertical ones. So I've done the horizontal. Let's do the vertical. So for the vertical ones, I've got these two segments. One, two. Then I've got these two. So never be in a hurry. Make sure that, you know, it's nice and secure and lining up correctly. So I'll go over these two. And then these two. Okay, so I've done the horizontal segments, I've done the vertical segments. Now let's do the ones at 
45 degrees. So I've got these two segments. I've got these four segments. You can see that I make sure that I use the straight edge, you know, using the same. So th the crossing here is nice and it's, it's actually lined up. Yeah. So if you want to, you could just do this separate to this. But if you do that, you risk actually having that little bit of, you know, marginal error, which again, at the end wouldn't look nice. Uh, everything is fixable, by the way. So don't panic if you made a mistake. You could always fix it on the end result, and we'll probably pick up some errors along the way. And we, I will show you how you can fix those at the end. So that's now the 45 degrees. And then the other set of 45 degrees or lines at 45 degrees. So I did these two and then there's these four. So again, I joined them from point to point. So I make sure that, you know, my line is is actually continuous so one two three four and that's nice and tidy so far and then i've got this this set of segments now and you can see i've there is a bit of a margin here, but that's okay. That's always, I can always join that in the end. So before I take off all the tape, I just want to make sure that this has actually been transferred. And you can see that this is a bit light. So what I'll probably do is go back over it. Uh, with a pencil, so I will use a little bit more force, just a little bit, so let's see if that covers. Well, okay, yeah. I mean, it's it has um, transferred a little bit, yeah. But uh, it seems that I did use the wrong side, uh, but that's okay. I can see it very lightly. So what I can do in that case is actually go over it with the pencil. So in reality, I can actually see it. So what I'll do is I'll just slightly, very lightly go over it with the pencil. And remember, the straight edge has to be away from you so that you can see where your actual line is. Okay. And uh, here we go. One, two, three, four. So here you go. One, two, three, four. One, two, three. And this one is Yep. So we all make mistakes. You just need to make sure that you've darkened these lines a bit, not much, but a bit. And here is where I can use my kneaded eraser and actually remove these extra lines that I don't need. And uh, that's it. So now I'll go over it and actually repeat this for the next 
uh, units. And um, yeah, stay tuned for the next video with the next steps. Enjoy.